and gentlemen, friends from press, good afternoon. Foreign Minister Wang Yi of China will make some remarks about the meeting just closed. And after that, he will take a couple of questions. So first of all, Minister Wang Yi. I will speak Chinese. 各位记者朋友大家好作为本月的安理会轮值主席欢迎各位采访报道刚刚召开的大一问题的高级的会议 Friends from the media, good afternoon. As the rotating president of the Security Council this month, I welcome all of you coming here today to cover the just concluded Security Council high-level meeting on the Palestinian question. 每当全球出现战火,人民遭受苦难,世界就会把目光 集中在这里，本轮巴以冲突造成大量平民伤亡，导致严重人道灾难，国际社会期待安理会承担应有责任，采取有力行动。作为本月的轮值主席国，中方一直将巴以冲突作为最紧迫的课题。我们在主持通过
是解决巴勒斯坦问题的唯一可行途径。七十多年过去了，一代代巴勒斯坦人失去家园，颠沛流离，巴勒斯坦独立建国的夙愿仍然遥不可及，这是人类良知的伤口。国际社会要全面落实联合国大会安理会的相关决议，充分尊重。巴勒斯坦人民的意愿，回归两国方案的正确轨道，尽快建立独立的巴勒斯坦国。只有这样，才能实现巴勒斯坦和以色列的和平共存，实现阿拉伯和犹太两大民族的和谐相处，实现中东地区的持久和平。The Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Proves once again that the two-state solution is the only viable way to address the Palestinian question. More than 70 years have gone by, and generations of Palestinians have lost their homes and become displaced. Yet the dream of establishing an independent state of Palestine remains exclu uh, exclusive, remains elusive, and this is an open wound on human conscience. The international community needs to fully implement the relevant resolutions of the UN General Assembly and the Security Council, fully respect the will of the Palestinian people, return to the right track of the two-state solution, and enable the building of an independent state of Palestine as quickly as possible. That is the only way for Palestine and Israel to coexist in peace, for Arabs and Jews to live in harmony and for the Middle East region to enjoy, to in, uh, to enjoy durable peace. The Palestine in Palestine is always standing on the side of the peace, standing on the side of the peace, standing on the side of the peace, standing on the side of the peace. Xi Jinping has said many times during the past few years that the Palestine is the right side of the peace. We have also developed the Chinese agenda to solve the Palestine conflict. We have proposed to stop the peace and protect the people, to protect the people and to protect the people. 加大外交斡旋、落实两国方案等五个方面的建议。刚才我在会上宣布，为了缓解加沙地带的人道的局势，中方将再向加沙地带提供新一批的紧急人道主义物资援助。When it comes to the question of Palestine, China always stands on the side of peace. On the side of justice and on the side of conscience, President Xi Jinping has outlined China's principled position on the current Palestinian-Israeli situation on multiple occasions. With that as the basis, we have submitted China's position paper on resolving the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and offered five proposals, including implementing a comprehensive ceasefire, effectively protecting the civilians. Ensuring humanitarian assistance, enhancing diplomatic mediation, and implementing the two state solution. Just now, I announced at the meeting that to ease the humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip, China will send another batch of emergency humanitarian assistance to the Gaza Strip. Over the past few weeks, the international community has taken active actions. The Arab and Islamic countries have been vigorously exercising their good offices, and the BRICS countries have also sent a strong message. China will continue to step up com communication and coordination and build consensus with the relevant parties and work tirelessly to bring stability back to the region and tranquility back to the people. Thank you. Now the floor is open for questions. Uh, first for China Central Television. Okay, uh, I'll ask this question in Chinese. We're in good hands in <laughs> translation. So, uh, 部长您好，我是中央电视台记者徐德志。我们知道，过去多年以来，巴以冲突在反复的上演，导致了大量的人员伤亡以及人道灾难。呃，中国对于如何阻止下一次的这个巴以冲突的爆发，以及推动从根本上来解决巴勒斯坦问题，有什么建议呢？谢谢。
Yes, rounds of Palestinian-Israeli conflicts have caused enormous casualties and humanitarian disasters. What are China's proposals for preventing another Palestinian-Israeli conflict from breaking out and for fundamentally resolving the Palestinian question?而是主持公道的勇气和行动。两国方案是国际正义的底线，不能后退。独立建国是巴勒斯坦人民不可剥夺的民族权利，不容交易。面对巴勒斯坦人民长期遭受的历史不公，任何人都没有拖延的借口，
过过过境的不畅，所以呃这批物资还积压在呃那么口岸上。我们希望能够尽快的打通这种呃紧急人道物资的呃运输的渠道，要使加沙将近二百万民众能够活下去。这是人的最基本的需求，没有水，没有电，没有医药，这种现象在二十一世纪今天不能再继续下去了。我们今天又宣布了新一批的人道主义的物资援助，我们将会以最快的速度，呃，运到加法口岸，希望能够达到加沙老百姓的手中。Well, China's assistance has arrived at the Rafah crossing, but because of um, hindered and uh, not very smooth access, now the assistance and aid remain at the Rafah crossing without being able to get into Gaza. So we are calling for unhindered humanitarian access into the Gaza Strip so that the nearly two million people in Gaza will be able to survive and uh, live their lives. And that is the most, uh, most basic needs of civilians in Gaza. The deprivation of water, electricity, and medicine should not continue in today's world in the 21st century. Today, we have announced that China will send a new batch of assistance to the Gaza Strip, and that will be delivered to the Gaza Strip as quickly as possible. Uh, we hope there could be unhindered humanitarian access so that the assistance can get into the hands of the people in Gaza as quickly as possible. Today, the most strong voice, the most strong voice, the most strong voice, is to reach the people of Gaza, to increase the supply of goods, 要开辟新的过境点，要满足将近二百万加沙民众的最基本的需求。Well, at today's high-level meeting, the strongest call and the most unanimous view is for there to be unhindered humanitarian access into Gaza, for assistance to be delivered more faster and more quickly into Gaza, and for there to be new openings of crossings into Gaza so that the humanitarian assistance uh, will be able to deliver into the region and reach the nearly two million civilian population in Gaza to meet their most basic needs. Mr. President, not only with the President, he has talked with many countries讨论过如何来解决巴以的冲突，那么呃和呃巴勒斯坦问题这些中东问题的核心。最近我们还召开了金砖的呃巴勒斯坦问题的特别的峰会，伊朗总统呃作为金砖的新成员也参加了这场
Thank you so much, Mr. Foreign Minister, for doing this. My name is Susan Tehrani from WEON. Um, I was wondering, uh, why is it so hard, in your opinion, for the Security Council, as a permanent member, to condemn Hamas? And since you're here, we're very concerned about the pneumonia cases in China. Are you concerned about opening up the country to foreigners without visa regarding this? And thank you. 您好,非常感谢文外长今天接受我们的采访 well, it is first and foremost up to the people in Palestine to decide how to view Hamas. China always stands firmly against all forms of terrorism. In the meantime, we emphasize that there should be no double standards when it comes to opposing terrorism, and such opposition of terrorism should not be targeted against any particular ethnic group or religion. 医疗体系那么最近发生了一些个别地方发生了一些儿童的感冒的事件这其实在任何国家都会发生而在中国处在有效的管控之下 well, China has a fully-fledged medical system. Uh, recently, we have seen some clusters of flu cases among children in certain parts of China. In fact, that is a very common phenomenon in many countries, and in China, that has been put under effective control. China's interactions with the international community will not be affected by any factors, and we welcome uh, more visits from friends from across the world, including you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Very quick one. Very quick one. Uh, will, China, will China push to condemn Hamas for the 7 October attack on the draft resolution?